Hey everybody, Jay Shalansky here from The Fifth Trooper. Really excited to talk to you today about a brand new tool we developed. It's called Legion Stream, and basically what it is is a helper tool for all of you out there who stream Legion games, whether it be for TTS or in real life. Um, this was something that I've wanted for a long time that for myself, you know, for all the stuff that we stream, and finally we got it developed, and I'm really excited to debut it today. So in order to use the tool, you'll go to legionstream.thefifthtrooper.com and you'll have this, see this login area. Now, if you're new, you would click new, register here and put in your email and password, uh, and then you'll be able to log in. So once you logged in, uh, you'll be able to see this. This is our Legion Stream background dashboard for you. So basically this is a desktop uh, version of this tool. Mobile is coming soon. Uh, we're still trying to see if people would need a mobile version, but basically you would load this up in any web browser. And what it does is it has all this information you can save here on the back end on the dashboard, you know, from player names to the command cards they're playing, the battlefields that are being played for that game, your timer, your turn. Uh, and then what we do is we display those in these overlays for OBS or Streamlabs or whatever streaming uh, software you're using. And so at the bottom here, you'll see the overlay links. Uh, and basically right now we have four different overlays. We have the standard overlay that's gonna have the name of the blue player and red player, uh, what command cards they're playing, how many victory points they have, the battlefield cards, timer, and turn order. So that's going to be all the information for the, your standard display. The next one, you have command, and that is basically the name of the players and the command cards that they're playing. Battlefield is the next overlay option that you have. That's the name of the players, faction, icon, timer, turn, and then the battlefield card. So this is more of a, hey, we just started playing. Here's what's going on in, in the game. And then we have the timer, which is just what turn they're on and the time. So before we start anything, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let's say we're getting set up for, for a fight. So uh, I'm going to put in two names here. So I'm going to use John Bushman. He's going to be playing Republic. So I put in his name here and then I selected the faction from the drop down and I'm going to go ahead and save. So then the next thing I'm going to do is select red player. So let's say that's me and I'm playing Rebels. I'm going to go ahead and save that info. And what we'll do now is I'll just show you, we're going to be missing some information because we haven't put it in yet, but this will give you a good idea. So I'm going to go down here and click Battlefield, and that's going to pop up a new screen for me. And this is the overlay that you'll use in Streamlabs or in OBS. And basically this white in the background is not won't be there once we load it in, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But you can see up here at the top, we have John's name here. Uh, with a little icon for his faction, my name here with a little icon for my faction, but you could see some blank space to the right here in the blue that's where the objective cards would go. We have our turn uh, right here underneath john's name and then under my name would be where the timer goes so we haven't started any of that, but what we can do is go ahead and do that so. To the right, we have the battlefield cards. So once the players have selected their battlefield cards, there's a little drop down with the names of all the battlefield cards. I'm just gonna select a couple uh, randomly here. And then I'm gonna save it. So now we're gonna go back to our screen. You could see that turn zero saved up here and now the battlefield cards have automatically populated. So you could see the images, so the the, folks at home who are watching your stream, you'll have an easy way to show them what battlefield cards are playing. So the next piece of information that we haven't put in yet is our timer. So most games are gonna be about three hours. So I'm gonna put three in the hours slot, nothing in the minute slot. As you can see, the timer updated, and then I'm gonna hit start. So now the timer is counting down. And if I were to go back to that battlefield, you could see that our timer is counting down. So now I have what turn they're on, and the time. So if we were to look at, let's say the timer overlay, I'm gonna click that, it'll open a new window. So now we have turn zero with the time. Next thing I wanna show you is we're at command cards, okay? So it's gonna automatically select based on what faction you selected, all the command cards that could possibly be played for that faction. So I'm gonna say John played air support, and then I play, let's say, Brains and Brawn. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and select both of those and then hit save or uh, select here. And then if I go back and uh, actually, so these, the, the two screens we opened won't have the command cards, but if I were to play it, let's say go to the, our standard screen, this is now gonna have all our information on there. So there's John, there's uh, our command cards that we selected, air support for John, brains and brawn for me. I haven't put in victory points yet, so nothing's showing up there. We have what turn it is, we have the time, and then we have all our battlefield cards. So if I go back to the dashboard and realize, well, since, since it, we've now selected command cards, we're in turn one, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and move that over to turn one, click update. And then if I go back to our standard overlay screen, you could see that the turn updated here. So the neat thing about this is you don't have to refresh the page. It's just automatically doing it. And then one other screen I wanna show you is the command overlay. And so if I click that, there we go. So there's the pictures of the command cards already up there. My, you know, John's name, my name, what turn we're on, what time it, you know, what the time is left in the round. Uh, and then victory points. So let's go ahead and add those victory points. So those start showing up. Let's say John scored, I don't know, three and I've scored one. I'm going to update John's here and then I'll update mine. And then I'm going to go back to the command card screen real quick. Uh, and there we are. So the VP's updated. So now we have a bunch of screens with information for our folks at home that was easy to update through just this simple uh, web, web dashboard. So there's the four screens with all the information, just going through them here. Uh, so here's the neat thing. So you can clear all that data if you want once you're done, uh, or you can just update it. Um, you know, clearing it will clear everything out. So all this would then be blank on this screen, for instance. So I'll actually, I can show you that. Or, you know, once you update information, it'll automatically change it. So, you know, let's say John then plays Hero of the Clone Wars for whatever reason, and I play Explosion. So I'm going to go ahead and select and then select. Both of those are saved. Let's take a look at the command cards. There they are, Hero of the Clone Wars, Explosions. And then that's going to stay until you reselect uh, a new item there. And the time is still going. So the neat thing here is we have the timer in the dashboard as well. So if you have the dashboard up and you're not really looking at your, your stream overlays, uh, you'll be able to see the time right there and tell people how, how much time is left in round. So now let's talk about how do I get this into an OBS-like program? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and share stream, stream Labs here. So as you guys can see, uh, I just, I'm basically, instead of a camera, I'm just using uh, one of our recent streams from Adepticon. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new source. I'm going to add browser source. I'm going to add that source. And what I'm going to do is just add, I'm going to add a new source here. But what I can do is in the URL, I'm going to copy the URL from uh, the, the windows we just opened. And what's going to happen is at the end of the URL, it's giving you a very specific information here, data, that's you, your, it's your screen. So if I close that, we can now see that that is overlaid. So a couple of things you could do is these are designed to be 1920 by 1080, um, but you know, you can easily either in there change the size or just do one of these and resize. But basically they're meant to be at the top and far right uh, of the screen. So there's our uh, battlefield screen that we saw there. So let me, uh, let's get the timer one. Let's take a look at that one. I'm going to just use the same thing and update the URL here. So we got that close and there's our timer. And then I'm going to, let's do, uh, let's do our standard screen. Again, I'm just going to go copy the URL. I'm going to paste it in here close. And it's going to update here in a second. And there you go. And so we have four different overlay screens that you can use. Uh, and you just plug them in as a, as a browser source, whether that's OBS or Streamlabs. And this will automatically update. So all you have to do is load them into OBS once. And once you go to those different um, 
those different sources here or the uh, the different screens for OBS or Streamlabs, they'll automatically be in there. And all that information is carrying right over from, from the website live. And as you are going throughout the stream, you can just change that information. So let's go back uh, to the dashboard area real quick. So again, I can clear all this data out if I want to here by selecting clear data. Now that's gonna clear everything. So if I were to look back at our standard screen, there's nothing in there anymore. I just wiped that last data out. So then I would put in, you know, new information. Kyle, let's say he's playing Empire. And then we have Timbo playing Republic, save. And so now if I were to look at, well, uh, there's Kyle and Timbo. And, you know, we could see a bunch of different screens here. We've got their icons, but that's basically the gist of Legion Stream. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, reach out to us, but there's an overview of how to use our brand new tool. Uh, thanks for all your support and thanks for watching this video. And I hope you enjoy Legion Stream. Thanks everybody.